Hello and welcome to Math Friends. We are about to make friends with another problem. It is a related H problem and is number 23 in your textbook. The problem states, water is leaking out of an, inver an inverted conical tank at a rate of 10,000 centimeters cubed per minute. At the same time, the water is being pumped into the tank at a constant rate. The tank has a height 6 meters and the diameter at the top is 4 meters. If the water level is rising at a rate of 20 centimeters a minute, when the height of the water is 2 meters, find the rate at which the water is being pumped into the tank. I'm going to start off this problem by drawing a diagram. I'm going to draw an inverted conical tank. It looks like a cone. So here we have the inverted conical tank, the radius of which, or the diameter is 4, which makes the radius 2 and the height is 6, so it gives us. Now the water level, is, we're just going to say it's here, this is the radius of the water level, and here we have the height of the water level. And if you look, here's a triangle, here's a triangle, this is 6. Now C is the rate in which the water is being pumped in, then we can say that the rate that it's leaking out, which is dv, dt, the change of volume over time, is equal to C minus 10,000 centimeters cubed per minute. Something else the problem gives us is the change in which the water rises, um, which is the change in height. So we're going to have dH dt equal to 20 centimeters per minute. Now to tie in these two factors, you could say, of the problem, um, we need an equation. And that equation will be the volume of the inverted conical um, tank, which would be volume is equal to 1 third pi r squared h. Now when you see this, red flag should be going off in your head. Why? Because we have two variables. If we were to differentiate this, we have the r dt and the h dt. And we can't have that. We can't solve it with that. And so we're going to try to essentially cancel out either the r or the h by use of substitution. In this case, it'll be the r. If you look up here again at our diagram, you'll see that we have two like triangles. So if I do r over 2 is equal to h over 6. The radius, here's r, 2. The height, over the height. Cross multiply, we will get 2h is equal to 6r. Divide each side by 6. 2h over 6 is equal to r which in other words, R is equal to one third H. We can now substitute this in for R. So we have our volume equals one third pi times one third H squared H. So the volume equal to one-third squared to one-ninth. One-ninth times one-third is one-twenty-seventh pi. We have h squared times h gets us h cubed. Now that we have this, we can differentiate this. So dv dt is equal to 3 times 1 27th pi becomes um, 1 9th pi h squared because if we're multiplying this by 3, 3 is essentially 3 over 1. 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 27 9 times. So it becomes 1 over 1 times 1 over 9 pi. You get 1 9th pi h squared times dh. D, T. 
Now, if you look here, we have dV dt. If you go up back to the top, we have dV dt equals c minus 10,000. We can now substitute this in for our dV dt. So we have c minus 10,000 equal to 1 ninth pi h. Um, we're trying to solve for when the water level is at 2 meters. And since this is centimeters, we're going to have to convert the 2 meters into centimeters. So h is equal to 2. h becomes 200 centimeters. This is 2 meters. So we have times 200 squared dH dt is equal to 20 times 20. Now we're going to solve for C, which is the rate in which the water is being pumped in to our tank. So we're going to subtract 10,000 from this side and from this side. So we have C is equal to 1 ninth times 200 squared times 20 becomes 800,000 over 9 pi. Since we added 10,000 to the side plus 10,000, and this is our answer for the rate at which water is being pumped in to the tank.